Netflix was founded in 1998 by Reed Hastings as a rent-by-mail DVD service. Hastings was a tech entrepreneur who had sold a startup named PureSoft for $750 million dollars in 1997. The idea for Netflix was conceived after Hastings discovered an overdue rental copy of a movie in his closet. After paying a late fee of $40 dollars, he started to conceive alternate ways to provide a better solution for the home movie service. During the late 90s, DVDs were becoming popular, and due to their small size and light weight, they were a clear option for such a service. Hastings bought a number of DVDs and started to mail them to himself to see how quickly they would come back and in what condition they would be in. To his surprise, they all came back within two days and arrived in perfect condition. Hastings soon hatched a plan to launch a convenient service for movie rentals. Although Netflix was launched as an online version of a traditional pay-per-rent model, it quickly introduced a monthly subscription model and eliminated due dates and related late fees. This model was easy for consumers to understand. Subscribers could rent three movies at a time. They compiled lists of movies they wanted to watch on Netflix website, and when the listed DVD became available, they were mailed to the customers who could keep them indefinitely without the threat of late fee. Now customers could watch their favorite movies on their own schedule. Netflix also collected massive amounts of user data about their viewing habits and offered an intelligent recommendation system called Cinematch, which made personalized suggestions to subscribers. This competence in using data mining and delivering better value to customers became Netflix's core advantage against their competitors. The system created a symbiosis between Netflix and subscribers. On one hand, members were more likely to rent movies they would enjoy. On the other, Netflix was able to maximize its inventory and avoided recommending out-of-stock movies. Netflix's mail-order rental model directly disrupted the market dominance of brick-and-mortar rental giants like Walmart and Blockbuster, who at the time dominated the video rental market. In 2000, Blockbuster had a chance to purchase Netflix for $50 million. Unfortunately for Blockbuster, their CEO didn't take Netflix seriously and refused the offer. Blockbuster ultimately couldn't compete with the move to online streaming and rentals and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. But just as Netflix's subscription model upended Blockbuster's brick and mortar approach, digital distribution threatened to upend its own rental by mail model. But this model was just a stepping stone towards Hastings' greater vision for Netflix. In an interview, Hastings said, "Our hope is that we'll eventually be able to download more movies. That's why we named the business Netflix and not DVD by mail." Netflix introduced a streaming service called Watch Now, which allowed members to instantly watch television shows and movies on their personal computers. Initially, the service launched with just 1000 titles. and worked only on PCs. It also offered a limit on the number of hours of free streaming based on the user subscription plan. Netflix partnered with consumer electronic companies to allow streaming on the Xbox 360, PS3, Blu-ray disc players, TV set-top boxes, Apple devices, the Nintendo Wii, and other internet-connected devices. The streaming service catapulted Netflix's subscription from 7.5 million in 2007 to 20 million in 2010 this year also marked the point where the number of customers who were primarily streaming videos outpaced those who were renting leading hastings to declare in an october earnings call that by every measure we are now primarily a streaming company that also offers dvd by mail after 2010 netflix started to expand its reach to other countries by 2016 Netflix reached to a total of 190 countries and was offered in 21 different languages. Netflix also invested heavily in making original content, a technique that cable channels like HBO had used effectively to differentiate themselves. Today, Netflix is the largest streaming service in the world with more than 200 million subscribers and 25 billion in revenues. It spent around 16 billion dollars in 2020 on producing original content and has over 15000 titles in total that's all for today if you liked this video hit the like button and share it with your friends and loved ones 
subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. We'll meet with a new video. Until then, stay healthy.